Now turning to more of today's top stories in your morning rush. The South Carolina Health Department says COVID cases are dropping, but the state still has a long way to go. We're still categorized as high transmission. The use of masks indoors in all settings where community transmission is high is still recommended. Right now, 10% of COVID tests are still coming back positive in South Carolina. Paid family and medical leave no longer a part of President Biden's Build Back Better spending plan. It comes as Democrats are working to narrow down the bill and secure an agreement. Paid leave was one of the main components of the president's proposal. He originally called for 12 weeks off for new parents and those taking care of a sick loved one. I'm Chris Pallone in Washington, where President Biden is reportedly delaying his departure for two European summits so that he can come here to Capitol Hill and meet with Democrats one last time before he goes. The president is trying to get two major spending bills across the finish line. It's unclear if progress has been made, though. Catawba County Schools offering bonuses to bring in new teachers and encouraging them to stay. All active full-time employees who were hired before September 1st will receive a $1,000 uh, bonus this December. They would also receive an additional $1,000 in May of next year. New this morning, a former Novon Health executive winning $10 million in a discrimination lawsuit. David Duvall claimed he was fired back in 2018 from the health care system because he is a white man. He said he was replaced as senior vice president of marketing by two women, one white and one black. The jury said Novon Health failed to prove it would have dismissed Duvall regardless of his race and gender. And that's it for your Morning Rush.